quite informal, yeah? Because uh, we are very tropical, hot Penang. Um, you know that the artists that we are celebrating today, uh, the works of the artists that we are exhibiting today, uh, Angela, uh, Angel, right? <laughs> Angel Angel, <laughs> alright, uh, from Mauritius. Um, before that, I will welcome our uh, guest of honor, uh, Honorable uh, Muhammad. The Wong Wong Mai. Very, very good afternoon to all of you for coming to Peter Liu's gallery. Uh, that's Peter Liu over there if you don't know him. The other 50% owner of the gallery, Christine, is over there. <laughs> now, let me tell you a bit about uh, Angel. She is from Mauritius. Uh, about six years ago, she first uh, visited Malaysia uh, under the uh, Tourism Malaysia's campaign for uh, art, where we have uh, art exhibition throughout the country and invited uh, foreign artists in general. That has uh, been happening in the past six years. Mr. Liu is instrumental in that uh, campaign. So you can hear from Art Malaysia. And India has been coming, showing her work in group shows. I would say, she did quite say it, but I would say that she has uh, fallen in love with Malaysia. Um, she's been coming back every April uh, for the past six years. And this is her first solo uh, in Malaysia. And I would think that she will be the first Norwegian to hold an exhibition in Malaysia. Uh, so that is the record. Angel is an artist. She is also a, an art educator. She's very much into art education. Lectures in the art history in the University of Malaysia. She is the art writer. She is uh, in charge of the art examination in Mauritius under the Cambridge program. She is the uh, art critic as well. Um, so she is someone who is well capable of telling you about the art, which she will do uh, later. Right? We will cater better than me. Uh, there are, I counted, there are 23 books shown here today, all done in Mauritian, uh, Mauritian. Right. Um, you see them on the ground floor of the gallery, so later please please go around. Um, I would like to take this opportunity to introduce you today. Maybe Wong is a lawyer, uh, and we have, of course, a judge here. Yeah. So we have to be very careful. What we we have to be very careful. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't worry about that. Um, the exhibition is entitled Doorways and Pathways. Uh, you call this, some people call this uh, non-representational 
abstract huh? um, or you slow abstract expressionism right um, I will leave it to Angie to tell you about the inspiration in the heart but to her uh, the art it's always about the artist even when you see non representational work right? it is her the essence is the spirit that you see. And she told me that uh, life is beautiful because it is ambiguous. Right? And chaos, when you look at a painting, chaos is very important to her. But because true, within chaos, you will find peace. And she was describing to me what happened to her many years ago huge tropical cyclone swept through Mauritius and the cyclone, right? Penangites are very fortunate we have not experienced that. Right? Clean at above 100 meters, uh, up 100 miles per hour going through. And then after the, the cyclone went past, suddenly there was quiet, there was peace. And everyone, when they thought that things were over, then the cyclone came back because you were in the eye of the storm. Right? And to her, life may very well be like that. Right? You, you've heard about chaos theory. Uh, chaos theory is a very high uh, level of uh, mathematics and science. And chaos is explained this way, chaos theory. When the present determines the future, but the act Approximate present does not approximately determine the future. Uh, in simple terms, one plus one equals to two, that one is very clear. Right? But if it's one point zero 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 one two plus one point zero eight one two, you it doesn't quite equal to two. But sometimes you put it as two. Right? But when you put it as two and you expect a two, the result may be very different because it's not actually true and, and life is like that. Uh, when you think that you're doing the same thing over and over again, the result will be very different. That is the essence of chaos theory. And in her painting, each of them is unique. And uh, that is the result of the experience in life. Like, I'll, I'll let her tell you more about the, the work. Now, before we go on, I would like to call upon Milly to tell us more about the mother's work. Thank you, Mr. Vikai. Um, the Honourable Mr. Wong Hong Wai, Uncle Peter, and Auntie Christine, distinguished guests and relatives, I have known Angel Ango since I was a baby. Um, well, actually, before I was a baby. <laughs> Mauritian art scene. She has been teaching art for decades. First, as the head of art department in a boys' Catholic school, then as a lecturer at the Mauritian Institute of Education. Now, she lectures in history of art at the University of Technology, Mauritius. Angel does not miss a chance art. For 15 years, she has been working as an art therapist in women's and men's prisons because she believes that art elevates the soul. Her paintings are a reflection of the meaning she finds in life. Her faith is fueled by her deep belief that hearts always open up for us good times and times of adversity. Joseph Campbell said, quote, if you see your path laid out in front of you, step by step, you know it's not your path. Your own path you make with every step you take. This is why it's your path, unquote. Angel walks on her own path. 
Her love of life and her deep concern for people have brought her in strange lands and unknown paths. The very act of painting is for her a way to express her search for balance. Her paintings are true reflections of herself, full of energy, joyful, colourful, powerful, bold, and at the same time, so profound. She presents to us a world full of ambiguity, where moments of peace are within chaos. That is hope in this world. Connecting with her paintings give us the opportunity to comprehend the world where the invisible becomes visible. This incredible and authentic artist in front of us, an artist who has made her whole life a work of art, is my mother. I am so proud. Thank you, so Lily, for very, you. very personal and yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, I've written down some main points so that I don't miss anything I would like to tell you. Um, yes, Honorable Mr. Wong Hai Wai, uh, Mr. Kian, you can yap. I'm so grateful to you, Kian. Mr. and Mrs. Peter Liu, distinguished distinguished guests and members of the family. I am so happy today to be here and I am very, very grateful to Peter and Christine Yu to have given me the opportunity to do my first solo show in Penang here in Malaysia. My first solo show. I've done many group shows, but it's my first solo shows. And um, I think that to have my first solo show in uh, Malaysia, is very, very meaningful to me. It's meaningful because every April I come to Malaysia because I love being here. I love the people. I love uh, the friendship here. I have my friends here. I love the food. And especially I love the art world here. I love the art space. I love what's happening here with art. So when I come here every April, either to exhibit uh, in group at the Art Malaysia exhibition, or just for holidays, I feel at home. So Malaysia is my second home. This is why I feel it's very meaningful for me to have my first solo exhibition here. And my friends in Malaysia ask me, why do you have your first solo exhibition in Malaysia to have it in Malaysia? It's not that I don't love Malaysia, I love Malaysia. But I think this is really kind of you know, sometimes in life, you, you just, you're on a path, and things just happen. You, you're not aware of it. Things happen, and it's always good. Because if you look at life in fragments, uh, now you will not know why. But afterwards, you know why things happen. And it's very, uh, I'm, I'm so happy to have it in Malaysia. And uh, because I think that everything contributes to make this country resonate with me. I would like, before talking about my artworks, I would like to thank Peter Liu. I would like to thank Christine. I would like to thank Peter for his maturity, for his brave heart. Because Peter is someone who has such a big heart. And uh, when, uh, whenever you talk to him, he will always share his experience with you. He has lots of research and I've learned so much from him. One of the main things that I've learned is I have always been an artist. I have made group exhibitions. I lecture at university, but many times I haven't been that bold enough to do my solo exhibitions. 
has kind of unleashed you know, the the uh, we all have an angel on the right side of our, of our shoulder and on our left side and we have released that talk that the angel thought yeah so i decided to make my solo here and i'm very thankful to him i'm so thankful also uh, to to kian because um, kian does so much for all the artists so much for artists and my first exhibition here was with Al Malaysia in KL. And when I came here, I was so touched and so surprised how Kian really loves the world of art and that he will do everything to make artists thrive in this world. And I thank you very much. Um, I will talk about my theme. My theme is doorways and pathways because I firmly believe that whenever we walk through life, in, in good times and in less good times, there will always be a path that is for us. And it's for us to choose that path. And it's for us to decide, but it's there. Sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. There will always be people that will talk to you, but sometimes you won't hear because it's not the right time to hear. So doorways and pathways is all about, about life. It's also about the never-ending journey in life. Our never-ending journey is, is chaos. It's the theory of chaos. That is, life is a big chaos. And because we find peace in this life, we always, always find peace. And this is the beauty of life. And sometimes when we are in difficult times, we may not realize that we can have peace. We may not realize. But then afterwards, we realize that things are meant to be, and there is peace in chaos. So when I paint, I always, I paint like this. Someone would look at it and would say, what is this? It's chaotic, you know, it just colors flying here and there, yeah? But paintings, you have to go into a relationship with it. It's just like people, you've got to relate to them, you've got to go into a relationship. And you go into a relationship with any paintings, you know, any artist paintings, then the painting would talk to you. And my paintings are about uh, chaos, about, it's also about what the Italian would call sentimental. Sentimental is repentance. That is, life, you always have moments of repentance. So I paint in layers. I paint in so many layers and I hide the layers. And then I am so energized when I've been hiding layers in my paintings. Then I see layers coming through. They just appear. And this is the moment when I go. It's a moment when you touch infinity. It's a moment when you really touch the sacred. That wherever you, you, you hide it, but it always appears, but because it is there. It's just like life, it's a feel of the onion. You feel one, two, three, and then it's, it's a whole life, it's a whole process. So it's, it's, it's about uh, the sentimental means repentance, is that the colors, We'll have that repentance, you know, it will always come through. And uh, when I paint non-representational, they are just fragments. I can go out with friends, I can see a mountain, I can feel the flow of the river, but what I will paint is the feeling. I will paint the pose, I will paint the fragments of what I see. This is what really I like to paint. And also, I was talking of the sacred, I think that the sacred in life, is, uh, within each one of us, uh, we can see things every day, but the beautiful things are really hidden. They are the unseen, what we call the unseen. And if we are in the right state of mind, we are with the right people at the right moment of time, the unseen just appears. And when the unseen appears, this is where you really can see everything that is the sum of all the parts come together to make a whole. And it is a moment of grace. It is a moment when you touch the sacred. And this is what really energizes me when I paint. And uh, the connectedness with the whole universe. Um, what I could say uh, also of my, of my artwork is I feel, I, I feel that when I put colors, Colors have got vibrations. The, each color has got a different vibration. And when all the vibrations come together, this is where my painting, I think, is finished. 
but it's never finished because my paintings will begin with you, with your eyes. When you look at my paintings, it's another story. My, it's not my story anymore. It's your story that you will see. I would like to thank my friend, my best friend forever, Karen. Yeah. I come with all my friends. And so many times I come to Malaysia also because of her. Thank you very much. Thank you. We also like to thank Karen. Karen has written a, an article about uh, uh, Angel's work in the brochure. You can pick one up. Um, today is uh, a milestone for this gallery, uh, for Peter's dream. I think this is uh, the moment that he wants to touch infinity as well. Yeah. Um, you know that Peter has uh, dreamt about having an international art camp in Penang. Uh, he's not from Penang, but he chose Penang. Right? The uh, art camp up in Bali Pulau is being built in earnest. Uh, we hope that it will start soon. The idea is to bring many international artists to Penang and that there will be interaction with the local artists. Right? Uh, open Penang to the world and open the world to Penang. Right? And Angel's first solo here is this big guy step for Peter to gain his wish. So that's uh, very significant. Um, I'd like to now call upon uh, Wadi Wong, uh, the busy man, to come and uh, say a few words and officially uh, open the show. Thank you, uh, for your time. And uh, I'd like to congratulate Angel for uh, having a solo uh, in Japan. And then uh, especially for Andy Kai also, this is uh, 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 be the first uh, solo scale by a uh, Mauritius. And then Japan, 100 years ago, uh, there were so many international visitors coming to Japan. But uh, we never had an uh, artist from Mauritius uh, for organizing a solo here. So I would like to uh, thank Mr. Uh, Peter Liu. This is my first visit to his uh, art gallery. And then I was told there are some more art gallery, private art gallery, coming up along this road, the Bo Mai Yu. Uh, is it five? It's about five, yeah. yes. About five private art gallery coming up in the Bo Mai Yu. If you look at the sidewalk, you can look, look at the road side of the Bo Mai Yu, the Malay, the Malay Lake. If you look at the sidewalk uh, in front, you will see that there's a the Malay word called Lebo Melayu. There's a Chinese wording called Ai Gu Ao. Uh, I, have speak, I have to uh, speak in Hokkien because the Ai Gu Ao means uh, the place, the place where people slaughter the cows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Chinese uh, uh, have a different name. You know, Chinese got their own, own naming system uh, on the street names. And then the British administration, they have their own official name. So Chinese see it is a place, 100 years ago, uh, a group of bodies, uh, a group of ladies, slopping the cows during the hutch season. So they name it, you know, Ai Gu Bao. So, uh, so you see, there are so many uh, I mean, uh, happening, you know, uh, in Vietnam since 2008, after uh, UNESCO has been after we then just as listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Even the place uh, with the Tai Hu Hour, you know, there are art gallery coming up. You know, first one, Peter Liu Art Gallery, Petri Lhasa, you know, next one. And then some more, three more coming up. So, uh, uh, we are so uh, a vibrant art scene in Vietnam uh, with some other international artists uh, like Angel coming over to have this uh, solo. So, I believe all this is a, is a very good uh, positive news for Vietnam and uh, uh, is a uh, Align with the state government objective to make to make the a vibrant arts and cultural city. So I would like to uh, congratulate her, thank you, and for the uh, solo exhibition, the team doorways and pathways. So I believe that it's quite abstract. You know, she speaks like a philosopher. You know, uh, you have to. Uh, uh, you cannot. You cannot. When you when you look at the, her painting, you cannot. Uh, 
see it from the angle of zero and one, or the digital, digital mind, or you have, to, you have to think as a philosopher, you have to understand, you know, the background, you know, you have to, uh, I even Google, you know, the, the background of Mauritius, a beautiful uh, uh, island in the Indian Ocean. So you have, you have to do a, in imagination, imagination and uh, to appreciate her painting. So uh, as I was saying, one door closes and, and another door is open. So I believe that uh, this uh, doorways and pathways uh, exhibition you know, is a, is a uh, I mean, uh, to open doors you know, for Penang and to connect the world and also for probably, uh, probably and just and invite some other Mauritius artists, the students, the skills, come over uh, to Penang, uh, visit them and probably uh, have uh, some exchange in these uh, two cities. And I was in Balikulau last week. You know, Peter brought me to the site to you know, take a look at the proposed art camp. I think it's a very excited, exciting uh, scheme, an exciting uh, experiment, an exciting grand plan, you know, to have an art camp uh, in, in up the field of Balikulau. You know, that it will be served as a base, like what Peter is doing here, you know, inviting international artists to come to Vietnam, you know, to open up, open up our profiles in the art scene in, 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 the, in the world. And I believe that uh, uh, all this will be a good book uh, for Vietnam. Uh, also, I'd like to congratulate again, you know, for the first of this art exhibition. I hope all the best for Angels. Uh, Another very important day. Today is a day where Angel celebrates her birthday. A birthday that ends with a zero. I won't give you the figure in front. It's a very auspicious figure. <laughs> it's a very auspicious figure. Right? And yes, we want to sing her a song. Let's sing her a birthday song together. Can I call upon the uh, tango to come and join uh, your lovely wife? Someone can hold the camera for you. <laughs> Shaolin that has come from London, meaning that has come from Melbourne, and my son-in-law, Hong, that has come from London, and Meaning's boyfriend, Dane, coming from Melbourne. Yes, I would like to thank everyone. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Angel. Happy birthday to you. with our friends from Mauritius, the whole gang of them. Uh, enjoy the art. Oh yes, you can have the group photos. <laughs> <laughs> Come, uh, you got one for the press, by the way. Yeah, sure, sure. Join us, join us. Come, come. Yeah. Uh, Peter? Peter is here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.